Hello, and welcome to game time. I'm Victor, and today I'm going to be playing Undertale for the PC, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PS4, and PS Vita. Now, let's continue right where we left off. Well, not exactly right where we left off, but... Hush. Welcome to Snowed Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80G. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. Hiya, you look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible, because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. So you came back to see me? You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of my time. My house! It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics joke. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Welcome to Scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down and move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Did you just say not to bring it back to my room? Ah, forget it! This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Wow, being a good host is a real workout. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. L take a look-see. What? Catch that meddling canine! Guesses! Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! my room. If you finished looking around, we could go in and hang out like a pair of very cool friends. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start hanging out? Uh, let's look around. Take your time. I'll wait for you. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead I cruise while I snooze. Ah yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise me. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> that book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. 
the internet and quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Hmm. <laughs> so, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start hanging out? Okay, let's hang tin. Here we are, hanging out. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters for my name. I snagged an official hangout guidebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for friendship HUD. I'm just gonna press the start button since I'm using a controller. I don't have a C key. Wowie! I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them to hang out. Ahem! Human! I, the great Papyrus, will hang out with you. Yes. R really Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. And on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. We're closing? That bandage hanging off of you. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be you've wanted to hang out with me from the very beginning? No, you planned it all. You're way better at hanging out than I am. N no, you're friendship power yeah <laughs> don't think you've bested me yet I the great papyrus have never been beaten at hanging out and I never will I can easily keep up with you you see I too can wear clothing in fact I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes just in case someone wants to hang out. Behold! Yeah. What do you think of my secret style? No! A genuine compliment? However, you don't really understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid! This hangout won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. My hat? My hat. My hat! <laughs> well, well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Do you know what this is? Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively uh, scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ah! Ugh! No! 
Human, it's clear now. You're completely obsessed with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy, too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus. Hmm, well, I'm flattered you care so much. But maybe cool it a little bit. You are a very nice person. I'm glad we're friends, but I think you can reach your maximum, max potential. If you live more for your own sake, rather than just for mine. Mm. Hey, I know the solution. You should hang out with my boss, Undyne. I think if you spread your friend energy out more, you'll have a more healthy lifestyle. Yeah, let's be friends with Undyne. <laughs> Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> that was fun. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> this is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Uh, fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Well, if you insist. I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, no, I haven't had breakfast in at least a half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seat. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Uh, fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Groby, we'll have a double order of fries. So, what do you think of my brother? Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? No. More for me. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree. Papyrus tries really hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the royal guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, the flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? 
Someone must be using an Echo Flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. Can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. Just kidding. Really? Put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. That was, um, interesting. Well, I, uh, despite the fact that we barely actually got any progress, uh, this episode, I think that's about all the time we got for today. Hopefully you liked it. Bye.